Hello everyone. So in today's session we are going to do some exercise problem based on the concepts we have seen and the logic we have seen so far. Fine. So let's move on to the first exercise problem. Yeah. So when I0 is pressed after 5 seconds Q0 is on. After 5 seconds Q1 is on. After 5 seconds Q2 is on. After 5 seconds Q3 is on. So they have given 1 input and 4 outputs. So when you press the input. After the 5 seconds of your I0 pressed. Q0 should on. After Q0 turned on after 5 seconds. It is like 1 by 1 in the interval of 5 seconds. Right. So let's see this in the software. Fine. They have one input and four outputs. Each output need to turn on with a five seconds interval. Fine. So since you are having like this, how 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 many timers you supposed to use? You supposed to use four timers, right? Because four outputs are there and four intervals are there. I have told you four out four timers not because of four outputs it's because of four different time intervals fine so let me see that in a software so i'm going to take one input right one input and i'm going to name it as i0.0 let it be this is our main input fine i'll make i0.0 is I O in a question we have given I they have given I O no that is the one so when I zero is pressed after five seconds I one first output need to on okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to put one on delay timer over here which is giving five seconds delay correct is five t hash five s hope I I have you have remember this. This is a format to give our uh, preset value. Right. So after 5 seconds I want the first output need to on. So I am naming this as Q0.0 as the first output. Fine. So what will happen when I0.0 is pressed. First output will be turned on after 5 seconds. Correct. Next. What next? The second output need to on. After the 5 seconds of Q0.0. So what I need to do. I need to. You can take a reference from here. Or you can take reference from down. So what I am going to do means. After Q0.0 turn on. I need to turn on a timer. So whether you can take this as a response. Q0.0 here or this T0. Right. So I am going to take T0. Fine. So after T0 turns on, I am going to turn on one more timer and I am going to name it as T1. I am going to give the same preset value. Okay. And after this, I want the second output need to on. Got it. So how I am taking the reference? First output turn on. After that, I need to start the second timer. So, you can take two reference. One from this T0 or you can put this Q0.0 also. No issues. Okay. What I am doing instead of using output as a contact. I am using the timer output as a input contact to the second timer. Fine. Then, the next two steps are I am going to repeat. What I am going to repeat? Here, I am going to take a reference from this timer. At the end of the second timer, I need to trigger the third timer here right and after that i'm going to connect the third output fine so here i'm going to give the same preset value with a different timer name and this one is my third output got it so i have i have repeated the same step nothing new fine and what is the last step i need to turn on the fourth output after the Third output and after 5 seconds. Correct. Yes. So all the outputs are turning on with consecutive 5 seconds interval. Right. So I am going to take the reference from the previous timer. 
going to give the name and same 5 seconds delay and this is the fourth output got it fine so first what I have done when I0 is pressed why I have connected all the runs after I0 because this is the input condition no timer should start before pressing of this all timer should under the control of I0.0 that's what I have connected I0.0 as the root okay shall we go for online and check yeah I am going to turn on the I0.0 okay first output is not on after 5 seconds it is going to on second output is going to turn on after the 5 seconds of Q0.0 third second output is also going third output is also going to turn on after the 5 seconds of q0.1 and it is repeating got it fine it's done so this is a sequence in ladder logic one by one see i'm taking reference for the second output from first end first rung end correct same thing here here i'm taking the reference fine got it so this is how you need to do the first exercise and we have a subdivision of the first exercise let's see what is that yes so this one we have done yeah can you see here for the above question all output should turn off in reverse manner with 5 seconds duration of each output so for the same question they are asking us to turn off q3 first after 5 seconds Q2, after 5 seconds Q1, after 5 seconds Q0. First we have turned on 1 by 1. Now we need to turn off 1 by 1 from last. Reverse. Got it? Shall we see how to do that? Yes. So this is the half, half solution we have done. So what I need to do here? Q3 is on. Fine. After 5 seconds this Q3 should go off correct i am right or wrong correct no q3.0 should turn off after the 5 seconds of its turning on correct so what i need to do i am going to take the reference from t3 and i am going to turn on one more timer which will be giving the 5 seconds delay to turn off this got it so what i am going to do i am going to take the reference and I am going to give the new timer name and same 5 seconds delay. This timer I am going to give here to turn off the Q3. Okay, why I have given the normally closed contact? We know right, to break the contact, to break the circuit we need to use the normally closed contact. Got it? That's what I am using this. And I am going to repeat the same steps for the remaining outputs also. See, I am going to do the same thing. Here also, I am going to implement same. One more is pending for the first output. So, see here, for this I am taking reference from this. This is T5. This is same preset. Fine. This is again, this is T5. This is T6. T5, T6 and this one is taking reference from the previous that's, that's what it is T6, this is T7 and this is the preset value. Fine. So by using T4 I am turning off the last output. Correct. So by using T5 I am turning off this. T5 and by using T6 I am turning off the second one and by using the last timer I am turning off this T7. Shall we check that? I have used totally 8 timers here. I will go online. I will go for monitor. Yeah. Check out here. So these are all the first 4 outputs no? See. After 5 seconds Q0.0 is on. After 5 seconds Q0.1 will be on. 
after 5 seconds Q 0 0.2 will be on and fourth output will be on okay so after 5 seconds what will happen fourth output will go off see it is already off see it is off next to this one next to this one next to this one fine yeah that's it and complete cycle is done see this timer no the last timer is used to turn off the first output that's it simple fine so this is how we need to do the first exercise got it sequence is very 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 important if you have missed the sequence then your output will not be in the order in which way you want the output need to turn on in which way you want to turn the output to be turned off for example instead of the reverse manner if they have told q 0 0.2 need to turn off first means what you will do you will be putting t4 here t5 here t6 here t7 here it is just the opposite of this got it fine so let's do the next exercise so let's see what is the next exercise exercise problem 2 build a ladder logic for blinking of the light 5 seconds on 5 seconds off right so it is like we have seen in the serial lights and all no? blinking of that led we are going to do the same thing how to do this blinking so it is like automatic right once you press the input automatically the light need to on off on off on off like that some reset is happening in between that's what the timer is again and again turning on giving the five seconds again turning off giving the five seconds correct so let's see how to do this in a software so here you are having only one input because you need to give the input once you press the input the output will be on for five seconds after for after off for five seconds again on for five seconds so until i press the input condition to go false it will be happening cyclic in a cyclic manner correct shall we do that yeah so let's see how to do this yeah i'm sharing the software hold on just a minute yes so let's see how to do this so now you are going to do the blinking correct so you are having one input and one output correct so this is the output you need to turn on and turn off with five seconds delay this is i 0, 0.0 this is q 0, 0.0 let it be like this fine now this should be turn off after 5 seconds correct so what i need to do i need to take one normally on, on delay timer and i am going to give the name as t0 and this one as s5t hash 5 seconds for example if you want to see the immediate blinking you just reduce the number of seconds i am going to give 3 seconds so after 3 seconds this fellow should go off i am right this should go off like this fine now what i'm going to do i'm going to take one more branch why because it will turn off after the five three seconds but after three seconds again it need to turn on no correct so how to do that for that i'm in need of one more timer fine so see i'm going to take one more timer so when this timer need to start when t0 ends yes so i'm taking t0 as a reference here and t1 and same this one okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to when this on this should off i mean i'm resetting so what will happen if i reset this this will go again to normally closed condition this will be on for three seconds correct fine any doubts in this 
Shall we check whether it is working or not? Shall we check? Yeah. So now what I am going to do? I am going to turn on. Yes, on for 3 seconds. Off for 3 seconds. Oh, I have given the 5 seconds over there. So it will be off for 5 seconds. Can I change that? I will change. Let's do one thing. Let's give for 2 seconds. So that we can see the blinking nicely. Okay. Yeah. See. Off 2 seconds. On 2 seconds. Again off 2 seconds. On 2 seconds. Correct. Fine. So until I until I turn off this, this will be happening. Okay. If I again turn on, it will again start from on, off, on, off, on, off like that. Got it? So this is how we need to do the blinking of light. Fine. So how many seconds you want? According to that, you can give the timer. Fine. So I am here using the on delay timer. Fine. So yes. So we have seen the two exercise today in this session so we have two more exercise fine so we'll see that in the next session fine so until then bye